1931, two married scientists attempted to raise their infant son alongside a chimpanzee. The parents, Winthrop and Luella Kellogg, had a son named Donald, who was only 10 months old. Goa was the name of the seven-month-old chimpanzee. The couple aimed to determine if it was possible to educate an ape and teach it to communicate like a human. However, the experiment, initially intended to last five years, was abandoned after just nine months when the couple noticed alarming changes in their son's behaviour. Donald and Goa were subjected to a series of cruel and often unusual experiments at the hands of their parents. In one experiment, a gun was fired just inches away from their heads to see who would react first to the loud noise. As the weapon discharged, both youngsters flinched, and Gua scrambled into the arms of one of the scientists for safety. Another disturbing experiment involved spinning both around at high speeds, stopping only when Donald burst into tears. The couple's accounts also described how they struck the two on the head with spoons to observe differences in their skulls. Donald and Gua were woken up at the same time each morning and fed together. The chimp was dressed like a baby, wearing rompers, a diaper, and even little shoes. She enjoyed her meals in a high chair and was wheeled around in a stroller and slept in a bed. The baby and the chimp soon became incredibly close, developing a sibling-like bond from spending all day together. Soon, the couple realized that in socializing Gua to become more human, their son had adopted some animal traits. Donald began walking on all fours, dragging his knuckles like an ape. He would often bite people when he became aggressive, and he and Gua shared a secret language of bark-like noises they used to communicate. The couple eventually became so concerned about Donald's behavior, they decided to end the experiment early. Gua was returned to captivity and became the subject of another experiment. She spent the rest of her life in a laboratory cage. Two years later, she contracted pneumonia and died. Tragically, Donald took his own life in 1973 at the age of 43.